Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI and today we're going to be comparing a couple of the new Chanel highlighters from the Holiday 2023 collection. If you're interested in seeing any of these, just keep on watching. So you know I've been talking about this um, Les Symbols de Chanel um, in Precious Coral for quite a while. Since we saw the pictures circulating the internet, I knew I wanted this. One of the reasons why is because I have a lot of Chanel highlighters, but I do not have a peach Chanel illuminator. So excited, guys. I have tried it a few times. I did opt for, sorry, it's, you know, this thing gets messy. I opted for the um, Camellia version because it was so pretty and i already did a short of it i've taken pictures so i hope you can see like it's a little bit messy here i try to keep it pretty pristine but do you see the beautiful details and patterns it's got the cc in the middle of the camellia it's got the beautiful quilting all within the petals as well it is such a gorgeous little piece of work it's so pretty it's very skin like so i decided i wasn't going to put any bronze or anything on i just want you to see what it looked on my skin i just have my foundation and concealer already set my eyes and my lips so you see that's already done but i'm going to show you a little swatch so as you can see it is like not quite a blush it's very skin like and while it looks very light on my hand on my arm it doesn't look bad on my skin as you see as I blend it starts to look skin like and so let me show you it did not come with a brush just so you know it did not come with one um, but that's okay I do have my Wayne Goth brush and I don't see a number on here but it's for highlighters. So I'm just gonna go on the spot that I've already started messing with it on. And I'm gonna show you how it looks like on my skin. So you see it barely shows up. It just gives a little sheen. Let's do a little more. Now I will say my baby brother and sister came over yesterday and so my sister i decided to play some of the makeup on her she is nine years younger than i am no sorry eight years younger than i am and she's actually getting married next year and so she asked me to do her makeup for her wedding so that is partly that's a big reason why i purchased the other highlighter which i'll get into but when I was playing with this on her, I did notice this didn't look as good on her. Now I will tell you my sister's a lot richer chocolate brown than I am. A medium. If I'm medium, then she would be considered maybe dark. But I don't really feel like she's, well, I guess she would consider. Because I'm lighter skinned and she's darker skinned, but she's a beautiful, rich chocolate brown. And this, however, did not look too great on her. It was starting to show like texture. So I will say this is not very um, color neutral. This definitely leans toward lighter to medium skin. I think if you're like my color, maybe a touch darker, you can work with this one. But if you are darker at all in tone, it does start to show texture on you. So I do want to give you that little tidbit. I didn't apply I did I tried to apply a blush on her the Rouge Brune because that's a darker Chanel color that I have and I put it over top and it was okay but it had already kind of done its unfortunate mess on her face where it was starting to show texture so anyways um that's that now I purchased the Duo Lumiere Illuminating Powder, and this came with the, what, Roaring Twenties collection. Now this does come with its own brush, and it's very soft, actually. This is one of the best brushes I felt from Chanel. It's so pretty, it's got the little CCs. It's so soft, and it comes with its own little pouch. They usually do. And then there, here it is. Now I've also done little shorts of it. So it is not going to be in pristine condition. 
Um, I like to keep these on all of the highlighters and the blushes. I feel like it keeps consistency better when you do, in my personal opinion. So I just hold on to all of them. But that's neither here nor there. I wasn't initially very interested in this palette because I didn't feel like I needed a rose gold and I definitely didn't need this white highlighter situation, right? But like, I was thinking about my sister's wedding and I thought, oh my gosh, if, if I was seeing like different reels of it and I was like, if I just put this on like the tops of her cheek and like her little neck bone, oh, I thought she could shimmer shine without being too much. I was just like, I have to have this piece before it goes away because I think this would be perfect for her wedding. And I bought that for that really mere purpose, but I do really like it. I end up really liking this palette. So let me clean off my brush and let me show you. Um, I should swatch it. So first let me swatch, let me swatch the top and the bottom separate. And it's pretty, it's got that little sequin with the little CCs. Two colors, so the rose gold and the white. Let me show you together. And this does get dirty real fast, guys, so you're not gonna be able to keep it pristine. But as you can see, together it makes a beautiful shift. It does look very rose gold, and let me tell you, I put this on her and this was pretty. It, it did exactly what I thought. I put on her collarbone, which I'm gonna show you. I put on the tops of her cheek over top of the Rouge Brune and I was like, Shelly, do you see this? Do you see the do? And she and my daughter were just busting up because you know, only I'm excited. And I was like, do you see it though? And finally she was like, I do, I see it. I see it, Christina. I was like, okay, great. Anyways, let me show you. Um, this is also a luminizer, so it's not really a blush, but I'm going to show you with the same Wayne Gosh brush. Okay, on this side. And you're going to see it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, what I like about this, also, I don't have anything like this. I don't have a highlighter that is like true glitter. This is like true glitter on your face, guys, just so you know. In case there was any mistaking, this is glitter. But do you see how it looks very like, like glass skin? You know, when that trend was very big and it's not very big anymore, but it used to be. So I'm gonna put this on all the high points and I'm gonna show you what I like to do with it because you know guys, I try to use this makeup before I review it. And half of the reason why I can even do that is because I get the makeup midweek right so if i get um something wednesday night i'll do a short of it and then i'll play with it because i've already messed it up at that point i like to take the shorts first um because in youtube you know you have people who like to watch long content and you like people who just like the shorter content so i like to give both for viewers that i do have so you know it's fun and so anyway i say that all to say well i don't get to even like film it until the weekend. So I have a chance to play with it for a couple of days, like the Hermes, even though I ordered that palette and that mascara weeks ago, maybe a week ago, whenever it came out as website, it says it's not gonna come in to me until tomorrow, which is Monday. So, you know, I'm gonna be able to like do a short of it, play with it, and then tell you really truly what it's about. So I don't always mind that I'm not gonna be the first one to get all these products to you, you know, I want to get them out to you so you can decide, but honestly, I like to be able to try it so you can even see if it's something worth spending your money on. There's always new things coming out, guys. So if this doesn't work for you, cool, pass. Just wait until the next thing because there's always the next thing. So anyway, you see it here. It is so pretty. And then let me show you on my decollete. Mm -hmm. So pretty. So if you want to just shimmer shine, and yes, you do see the glitter, but I'm gonna show you the way I've been liking to use this. So since my look overall is very, you know, I have the Clay de Peau palette, which I'm in love with, and the Chantecaille 2023 eyeshadow, that pink one that I reviewed. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to remember it right this second. So I kind of have like a rosy, peachy color going on right now. I was kind of going for that rose gold color. So I'm going to use my favorite, um, one of my favorites from Chanel. This is Evening Beige. Unfortunately, they no longer 
have this color but I do have something very similar and I will need to edit that video for you guys it's not exactly the same but it is a nice similar shade so I will link it but I just haven't showed you the video of my review of it yet but I do like it but I really wanted to use this color because this is a color that would truly look the best I think oh that's so pretty and so do you see over top if I put the color over top like a blush you no longer see that glitter and I'll even put it here so you can see the glitter just kind of blends in okay and I like that so even though you still see the glitter like you still see it but it's not as obvious I'm sorry I have a lot of texture here I'm not sure what's going on I am trying a different um, foundation today and I don't know if it's just like like sucking up all the moisture in my skin but this is the color so pretty if you want a little luminous look like I feel like with this camellia one with this camellia I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this on my very natural no makeup days because then I'll put it over top of this right and look very luminous but it doesn't look like a highlighter right I'm gonna wipe this off clean this off I use this over top I just want to give it a little more sparkle it still has the glitter but it just looks a little more let's put it over top of my lip so we have camellia and we have this one and so I think for coloring purposes this one is not as luminous as I would have hoped it would be on richer skin tones but this because it's very much like a highlighter very much so well they're both illuminatrice powders but this one is obviously a lot more sparkly and from what I understand from many reviews it's very much like the white um, option for these larger luminizers which would make sense because they're both the same product now I'm gonna give myself a little more bronzer and I'm gonna use the Chanel bronzer this is the newer one that came in the Le Beige and the darker color not the darkest color but it's the medium and 392 and I'm gonna use my Sonia G sheer buffer brush I love this brush for creams and since we're doing such a light look I, I didn't want to overwhelm this look with bronzer but I knew I was gonna need a little warmth because I it's hard for me to see myself without bronzer it just ugh, just finishes out every single look and this blends in so seamlessly it doesn't take away from the color it just adds a little dimension oh and normally I use this bronzer during the summer but honestly you can use this bronzer anytime and look I've hit pan on it already so you know I've been using it I really enjoy this bronzer this is the Chantecaille lip crystal in rose quartz I did a short of it it really blew up that short but like obviously look at it look at this color look at these sparkles I mean this is gorgeous I remember buying a Tom Ford balm with the crystals that was terrible I had to return that because literally all the crystals came off with the first swipe and that was it this actually has shimmer built in which is so nice because you still get that sparkle and it doesn't take away like oh, I know you're wondering what lip am I using because I put the Chantecaille lip up there and yes guys I did go back for more because that color looked too fantastic to pass up I'm normally not into metallic lipsticks I love a sparkle you know I do but that was a little bit like much and I've done metallics before and I was like I'm too old for that now but Chantecaille you know they know how to make something refined so I actually mixed the colors but let me take this off so you can see it on its own as the more you use it of course the sparkles go away it just it's just so pretty guys so pretty I can't stand it and so let me just show you you're not gonna match all the way but I thought because I have the Chantecaille inner it would be kind of okay but So it's got this beautiful berry color that I feel looks so good on most women but you know women with a little bit of a tan it's gonna just be such a beautiful color I like that a lot and then it's got this metallic finish that yes can be a lot but honestly I'll either add it with my your lipstick of some sort 
and I mix them or I'll mix it with whatever color I want to achieve and it is so pretty. Every time I've mixed it, it's been so gorgeous. So today I mix it with one of my favorite Dior Velvet Lipsticks in New Touch 200. So usually I do this one first. I apply this one first and then apply the Chantecaille just because of the sparkle, but honestly it doesn't matter. You could do it any way you want. So this gives it a nice nude feel, right? It's gonna balance out the sparkle. I blend them together. And voila. So this is a little more nudey than you kind of you just kind of play with the colors until you get the color that you really want. And so that's about where I want it. Okay, so now I need to do the comparisons. So I have many Illuminatrix um, powders from Chanel. So let's go with first the Rev de Camellia. Okay, you're gonna see everything's trash. This was the original. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And as you can see, I have used it. Um, the only design you're seeing is the flower down below. So here we have our the flower, you know, um, embossment to some degree, like the outline. But we have the new Precious Coral. We have the Dual Lumiere. And then we have the Rev de Camellia, which you can see is similar to this one. Um, however, this one has more sparkle, means a little lighter pink. And then we have the Pearls Lumineer. This one, so pretty. It's definitely on the, you know, medium color wheel. Not too light, not too dark. And, but it leans kind of like brownish, goldish, light gold, I would say. It had the pretty pearls, but yeah, that is gone, okay? It did at one time um, have this gorgeous design. And we have, this was my first Illuminatrix, so I've had this quite a while, but this is the Le Chains um, de Chanel, and this was that pretty rose gold color with the chains, so pretty that is here as you can see it's definitely the warmest like the brightest coloring that i have like a pretty pretty rose gold but definitely almost like a berryish rose gold very pretty then we have one of my favorites that i've used so much especially in the summer you've seen me talk about it it is the Hervé Doré. this came out last year it's a very warm um coloring for their holiday collection it had the moon and it had that pretty chanel number one bottle gorgeous 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 and there it is oh so pretty oh i love it i use it as a blush highlight in the summertime when i am deeper in tone and then it just really gives me this oof, goddess like look because it's just like beautiful and illuminating and golden and rich oh i'm obsessed with that particular one out they came out with this beautiful beautiful pink color over the spring and this is fantasy de chanel i would say this was the first time it, everything was kind of more sparkly okay it was really pretty at one time once again i use it all so this is the color but it was a mixture of rose gold and pink i'm gonna put this here those colors there but they're all very different you know with the exception of these two here very similar and now I want to show you one that I think personally may look very close this is the Christian Dior um, Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in Coral Glow this one is exclusive to Dior website so you won't be able to get it on any other website no Sephora or Nordstrom's or anything like that but this is definitely one of my favorites. This is the one thing that I hope Dior doesn't reformulate because the reformulations on their blushes, let's not even talk about it in their eyeshadows. But this is such a pretty color and I definitely rock this in the summer more, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna put it really close to here. Okay, so this is the Coral Glow next to the Chanel. We're closer to like my skin tone where this one actually initially with the first couple swatches doesn't look very skin like but this one's definitely more sparkly this has more of a radiant sheen like many of the illuminators with the exception of like fantasy curve some of them are more sparkly than others which is very interesting 
but I would say definitely of all of them, the most sparkly has been their Duo Lumiere. That one looks like glass skin. Like you can see it here versus the Luminated. It's a different formula for them. And I'm here for it. Here we are. Here is the finished look. This is the Chanel highlighter plus Chantecai <laughs> review. I like to do separate ones, but sometimes guys, I don't have the time to like do individual reviews of things. Know what you think. Are you guys interested in any of these palettes, any of these luminizers and the Chantecai um, holiday collection? Man, that that collection blew me away. And I like think, do I want that pretty powder? But like, I'm like, no, you know, I have some powders that I need to use up and I really, really like right now. So I say that all to say, I hope you guys have a great day, a wonderful week, and I will catch you the next one.